Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And this is another one of those rather odd videos. It's a little, little odd. What you have here is, is what you're looking at right now. How do I describe it? Is me in eighth gear. This was another one of my attempts to participate in an 8th gear massively multiplayer GFRED hosted by Bruffy1322. And as you can see, I'm, I'm done up for Christmas here because it was during the Christmas season that uh, this occurred. Historically, if you're a, a viewer of the channel, you'll know I, I have had difficulty participating in these massively multiplayer kind of things. And we can pretty much assume that, you know, it's going to get interesting as things move on along here. I, I did not record any audio at the time. Not much. There are some places I think I had my mic on. We'll work around that. Because I think I was afraid of some ambient noise ruining the recording. There are places in this video where I stopped recording altogether out of a fear of... Of crashing, of you know, of having OBS ruin the fun. There are places where I have uh, gotten some clips from Bruffy, some short clips, just to show you what was going on. That's more later. That's actually in the the next effort of things, the next uh, the next time I was trying to participate. And it looks like, are we off? It looks like we may be off or not. I think I was initially confused here because what what they did was to try and have a better time of getting everybody off here and having the G Fred happen. They put a bunch of us, including myself, on another island, and then we have to go to the starting island and get the checkpoint at the starting island, which really set us back a good way. I don't, do we have to go climb the next island, or do we have to go right for the? Uh, get to the void for the lighthouse. I don't, I don't really remember. We'll have to see. But we got a longer swim. That was unfortunate. It was. I felt it was unfortunate. But really, in the end result, did it matter? No, no. no. Don't worry about that. It's, there, there were other things that went on. But we're, we're just going to swim here for a little while. As you see, I'm pretty far back. They had a tremendous amount of people. But that water looked nice and frosty. Yes, we did have to climb the next uh, the next island. I was right about that. My memory, it's like not the best thing to have to climb. And this was just from the, you know, there were a lot of, a lot of efforts put into this. And I can't climb up a sheer rock face. No, that didn't happen. Gallop, gallop, run, get, go, and grab a thing. That wasn't too bad. We got pretty far with that. I think, think it gave me the checkpoint there. So now I'm going to actually start the G Fred. Basically, with a giving everybody else a two minute head start on that, you know, except for the people who would be, who also got somewhat messed up by all that. But hey, at this point, the game hadn't crashed, so. There's just rustling about there looking for a cough drop, so I'm not coughing at you all the time. Nothing like trying to be a, a gamer guy with a Someone on and off clock, you know, allergies. I didn't smoke, so what's that going for me? I have had pneumonia a couple times, so you have a cough that just seems to, to linger from that. And from just allergies, but everything's fine. I get a cough just looking at this screen, just swimming through this icy gray water. Finally remember to switch the, uh, the viewpoint on that.
The good news is, is hey, if now it's not completely mayhem here, so we'll be able to get up and run. I tried to go around the outside on that like they said you could, and I couldn't, so. Maybe it's at that next turn that you can do that. I don't know, but we're, we're running now. I guess I should give you, per, per tradition here, a dad joke. I did get, for Christmas, a whole box full of dad jokes, believe it or not. So I'm looking at an actual card. Singing in the shower is fun until you get soap in your mouth. Then it becomes a soap opera. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's... How do celebrities stay cool? They have many fans. I don't know, that's not a good sign. It might have been things starting to crash out, but... Uh, let's see, yeah, if things are starting to go badly, I think. We'll get another, another one here. What did the grape do? He got stepped on. He let out a little wine. All right! Here's why it takes guts to be an organ donor. I think that's enough. We're running now. Okay, everybody started running again. So the game might have frozen up there a little bit and then unfroze. Hold itself together. Or perhaps I just couldn't see them run and they've been running next to me the whole time. Either of these is a distinct possibility. hear the peacefulness as we run in the snow before we try and yeet ourselves into the highway which which could only end well now these people on bikes in theory what happened is they may have gotten killed earlier they got in their car something happened to them and they got killed before they got to the quarry and now they're biking back this isn't the first they're, they're not getting to the checkpoint they're getting to get the car again. I think that's allowed. But well, they could have been out and out cheating. Very hard to say. Now this is a point where I really should switch to first person so that I can not be run over. This looks hectic. I said the heck with it. I'm just going to get something. Who's going to fight me for a truck? The problem with this, though, is, see, this truck doesn't go very fast, doesn't turn very fast. Guess what else it doesn't do? Does not brake very well. Not very well at all. No brakes whatsoever. I just squashed that guy out of existence. So now I've got to wait. I've run somebody. Now, there wasn't like I was trying to run this person over. I was on the brakes for like many, many seconds. Tried to get the stratum, couldn't get it. I have to wait. Nothing says that I actually have to, you know, not get another better car. That would have been bad. typing something there, but I'm looking at this in my editor, so I really don't know. Oh, I'm just going to stay warm in the truck. Wait for a car. Or can I use this truck to my advantage? This is what I'm thinking. Let's make it so nobody else gets run over. By traffic. Random or other. Okay, so we've backed up some traffic, and is that a Buffalo? A Buffalo is one of the cars that I, I wanted to get. Somewhere along the line, I determined that it was okay to go. Either that person had passed me, I was behind them. I think I'm still looking. I don't even know. Am I still waiting? I got away a little bit. Now I'm waiting. 
the race has not gone well for me. And I'm trying to figure out, can I go yet? Where is the guy that I killed? I mean, by this point, he should have been able to run all the way back, you know, back from the lighthouse. We waited more than enough time. Well, I really, really, really want to... No, I don't want anybody calling me out, so I'm like, all right, where is he? Did he just say he's screwed? I'm just going to sit here at the lighthouse. Still waiting for you. I think it's always out. I can't read from here. Get a little window. As I'm voicing this over. But it doesn't matter. Listen, this whole wait... Not that big a deal. Really, really isn't that big a deal. Well, I know why. Because, very, very shortly, I'm going to take off. And then what do you think is going to happen? Take a wild guess. I'll give you three guesses and the first two don't count. In game it happened just as I was getting to the quarry. I don't think we got all that footage. I'm making the turn, I cut through here. Why don't you knock it off with them negative waves? Why don't you dig how beautiful it is out here? Why don't you say something righteous and hopeful for a change? Crap. Yep, computer completely crashed out on me. I was unhappy. And that was the end of that effort. What you're seeing now, though, is I had another opportunity shortly thereafter to participate in something Bruffy-esque. He was working on a thumbnail. He was building a thumbnail for his, his basically his reintroduction to testing, where he's going to start doing testing in a whole brand new way. And I'm trying to think, all right, what car am I going to bring? He wanted a bunch of cars. Everybody bring a cool car. So I'm thinking, all right, a great Osiris is a good point to start. I've just gotten this car. I just built it. I think you've seen the build video from that. I don't have any audio on this part of the clip. That's an interesting thing. So something had already gone wrong. Now oh, this was like, I picked the card. Now I'm trying to join into the right session. And we're going to blip out of here in a second. We're going to look at this. Do look at the historical kind of thing. It's the chop shop. Remember when that was new? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's. Someday you'll be watching this and that'll make, that, that joke will make sense. But right now it is pretty new. So we drop in. Starting here, I seem to have some audio. Are we in with the film man himself? And with Bruffy, are we on a stream? I had not yet figured out what was going on. Okay, apparently. we need to go grab an Osiris and do something here. I don't know what's up. Can I hear anything? Put my headphones on? We have to. Get the Jones in on... No, wait, no, 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 wait. I did send game invite. And we need to get Pancro Jones in. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna let's break the tab that it. Osiris that we just built. That'll be a different video. And it was. What is going on now? I built two. This is a mix In of past session with Ruffy. 
and slightly less past me. It's all past me as far as you're concerned, but... There's two me's right now. What is the sitch? See, present me knows what the sitch was, but that me didn't. Are they just building cash, or...? Fine car you got there! He's down there. There's the Hoff. Because I try to figure out what's going on. We hook up with the Pangra Jones. We may have known what was going on. I'm willing to bet. Pangra. They call him Pangra Jones. They call him Pangra Jones. Pangra Jones. He has never explained to me what that name means. And I respect his privacy on that. The curiosity makes me crazy, but... Where is the Pankar Jones? You almost never have to search for the Pankar Jones. The Pankar Jones finds you. Okay, he's there. Uh, he's coming towards me. Pankar Jones! Tell me, you don't need to That's find bloody the squirrels. What the hell? Oh, very nice. There may be some typing here. Through that. Let's stay in different cars. I pretend to jump in. The joke being, every time we get in different car, if we get in the same car, stuff happens. This is a running gag between me and the Pankro Jones in here. Games crash. Things happen when we're in cars together. No! Things get glitchy and bizarre. It's kind of a beautiful thing, really. No idea what I'm doing at this point, although I know what I'm gonna be doing. So, what am I doing here? Send a message. Hold on, one second. So, you may wonder, why would I not just stop the recording, as opposed to just muting the mic when someone knocks on my door? Well, it's very difficult to resync everything. I mean, you know what? Let's just let it roll for the five seconds so you guys are understanding. And maybe I was saying something in real life. I have no idea. Hold on one more second. Wait.
So now you get you get to see a little bit of the straight up past me in Vancouver Aquarium working out what's going on. And I'm looking at just the waveform here. It looks like I may have muted out my own mic so I could put on the Bruffy stream. And so you wouldn't hear the stream, but then again, you're going to eventually hear the stream anyway, because I am going to put some stuff in there. Oh, someone started talking through me on that. Okay, someone. It's always interesting watching my own videos, trying to figure out what the heck was going on. This was one of the fun. We're helping Bruffy make a thumbnail. Okay. What the fuck? I'm sitting there. I think probably slightly AFK. <laughs> like I was just now. It's weird. So you just watched me get in get interrupted while making the voiceover. For a video where I got interrupted while I was making the video. I think you have an idea of why I don't make more videos. <laughs> Just, life becomes d difficult to manage. This is one of the difficulties with following Pancro. Is that on my screen he goes one place when really he goes another. I'm going to give you a little heads up here. This doesn't go entirely smoothly. But it, it was still kind of epic. And I, I want to I want to record and, and just for posterity that I was actually involved with this because it was an important thumbnail for an important video. And I did struggle to participate. I really did. And here I am in an Osiris trying to catch a club. That should tell you right away. There were some struggles. Whee! So I did that right next to where Ruffy was filming. Hopefully that I think that I think you might be able to see some of that on his video, but that particular part of the clip I did not including this. Why did I jump back off? I'm not really sure. Well, I think I decided to take a different car because mine was beat up. And the initial thought is that I would pull in my my Dominator GTT, which is based, you know, in concept off the, the, the Mustang Mach 1 that my dad had. He had a 69 Mach 1 in exactly the colors you were about to see. Through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? I wasn't sure exactly what to pick, but you know, I think I settled on the Mustang. As a matter of fact, I know I settled on the Mustang. By the way, Ruffy did not settle on this location. We, we started working in this location. Then he decided to change change the shoot location. So we'll get to that in a little while. I'm trying to find... There we go. This is on the way. One, one, of my, one of my most favorite cars. Can't type. Can I type for properly? All right, come on. And it puts the car all the way over here. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, where is? It? I couldn't even see where it was. I'm like, all right, well, it's right there, but 
Like, don't drop the car next to me. Well, I don't know what's wrong with the airport that it has to go put it out on this road. Something in the way they built the map. Map building is a funny thing. Beautiful car, isn't it? I do love that car. Did not jump it this time because I didn't want to bend it up. Almost scraped the door. I do wish I could put the Mach 1 stripes on the side, but... This is as close as we're going to get to an accurate portrayal. And in a couple minutes, you're going to see I had to cut to... Cut to some of Ruffy's footage just to show you what happened. We're not there yet. I'll, I'll show you. So I'm here. I'm in the spot near the Pancro Jones. And there goes the Pancro. Hanging out on the Mustang with me. I'm not, I've, I always have to think what the action button is. I can never remember. I did work it out though, as you will see. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of my footage about what I'm about to do. So you're gonna see it just from Ruffy's. I do eventually walk up behind Ruffy and start doing my standard action, which is the, you know, the photography action. Once I figured out the button. He's standing there, he's planning things, he's next to an INF, he's thinking I'll do this, maybe I'll do that, do this, he's looking out there, and so it's the perfect time to photobomb him. Is to sneak up behind the man as he's trying to work out, you know, what kind of action he could do too. That's him right there next to the white car. Hey, raised roof! Raised roof! And you're going to see an underlying theme to this with me here, as far as my participation in Bruffy videos. I think I did at least once to get the photography thing to work. Come on, move your arms. Do a thing. There's Ruffy doing jazz hands. He wasn't happy with that. As far as what he was going to do for the video. I rather liked it, but... More peeps coming to the show. It was just about this time that I decided to hop off my car, sneak up behind Ruffy, and then photobomb him by doing the... Uh, Doing the action, the whole Austin Powers, yes, 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 and then I'm spent action with the camera. The fake camera, the photography one. I had to figure out the new menu. Why did I raise the roof? It should be on photography. That's where I'm... That's mine. That's, that's, that's what I do. Hit the button. Make it work. See? Click, click. If you do it twice, it does it more expressively. I just think car is a more, like, searchable term. For a, for a title, at least. There I am, just taking pictures of him, like, yay! I'm photobombing Ruffy! None of these are as good as... 
Do the photograph one. I'm trying to tell him. And then I walk away. You want to know why I'm walking away? Thank you, Bruffy, for use of this this footage. Yeah, it's got to be that, hasn't it? Because I disconnected. That's where my game crashed. And I, my oh, character oh, just... Oh, oh, I'm not gonna... Crap. That was my reaction. So, I rebooted the entire game. Came back in. And I wanted to get there as quickly as possible. So I took the... I cooked the Swift uh, Flying Bravo here. Which I realized is one of his favorite helicopters. I thought, hey, rather than bring a car, at least initially, I can use a Pegasus vehicle. And park this off on the side, and then that could be in the photo. And that was my main contribution, is the the Flying Bravo did stay. It did, it did remain in the side of the video. Even after I later disconnected again, it stayed there and did not need to be moved or anything. And I guess even though it was kind of just an artifact after a certain point, it did make it into the thumbnail. I think he's say, all right, that looks pretty good. I'm trying to line it up with the the jet on the other side. Not giving a whole lot of direction on this at the time, as I recall. I just did this will look good. This will look pleasant enough. Well, I'll go try and get another car. Now I'm just here, kind of looking around. I mean, this is really just, again, this is what it was like during the making of of the thumbnail. We're hanging out. It's pleasant times, really. This is These are the same people you always see in the stream. I don't generally need to participate. You know, I don't need to. I don't get the opportunity to participate. But now I'm participating. We're doing things. People are bringing cars. I'm trying to think how else can I participate. I came up with the idea of pulling in another car and then using the, I believe, the Sparrow to go get it. All kinds of wheels are being brought up. Again, we're going to we're gonna kind of spoil things a little bit. Is that I don't really get another car into the picture. All I have in the picture itself, when they finally took it, is the Alpha Bravo. I did think a JB700 would be a nice idea. Hey, there's a Pancro Jones. I did think an F620. More on both of those than on. The agony, actually, that they put into this to try and get the perfect layout was really quite extreme. You haven't seen the buses brought up yet. Where people could stand on the buses to get it, you know, the buses, the buses to get a better view. Stand on the buses. I can speak English. And all the, all the while this is going on, you know, Ruffy's giving directions on stream. You'll see a little bit of this. Shit, sorry, I can't get there at the moment. There goes Ruffy running past me like a maniac. I don't know why. They're asking for more cars. Can you get more cars? People are zipping around. I'm standing there like a moo of some nature. I'm trying to get some kind of feel for the situation. Pancro's here. It's a good time. Ruffy just whacked past and furiously. I 
As I recall, people were trying very hard not to do too many skid marks. There were some. Now, the other issue I had is I'm listening to the stream, but there is a good, a good amount of delay between what's happening in the game and what's said on the stream. And Bruffy's not, he's not on open chat saying this. You have to listen. So, I mean, there's a delay from what, when he says it. So by the time he says, could you bring this? That car is there already by the time, you know, I get it. Then the notion to do something. There's a bus. I'm not going to show you the final result. I feel like that belongs in Bruffy Stream. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to... chisel into stone as much as bits on YouTube are chiseled into stone. My participation. And, you know, parts of my experience with how this went. All right, so it was that point I th thought, I'm going to get a car. I'm taking my Sparrow. Because that doesn't count as a car. Or a personal vehicle. Because I can't call the mechanic from here. We have to just tap our commando our way out. I don't know why I just decided to blow something up there. And Vincent starts inviting me to races, as he always does. And I'm a poor friend to Vincent in X92. I'm hardly, every once in a great while, I'm in a race, but... You're through to your garage. You, uh, need me to bring you a ride? But great things were afoot here, Vincent. Great things. This will be confusing around the house when I play this video, because... Not only am I named Vincent, and Vincent X92 is named Vincent, and my dad is named Vincent, my eldest son is named Vincent. We, we like Vincent's. So there's, you know, so I'm busy, Vincent. What? I'm like, no, no, that's on the TV. Okay. That's going to happen at least once. I wanted the JB700 instead of the W because my W actually doesn't have the guns mounted on this character. It has the clean look. I'll bring it to you. Okay, I got stuff to do. Like the guns are recessed. Like the, I would think that the one thing I would like Rockstar to do is take the JB7W, make it so that you could hit E and then the guns come out, the guns come back in. I know it's a lot of programming. It's not something you normally do. But man, that would be awesome. Maybe for GTA 6. Although, I don't know. Do you think they're going to let GTA 6 get this varied? Or are they just going to really stick with the theme of basically being in, you know, Florida and following the story? There's a lot of people who complained about all the different side routes that GTA 5 took with the oppressor Mark Douche, for example. I would imagine the James Bond car is definitely out there, you know. I mean, I guess it kind of fits into a criminally themed sort of business. These open my doors. Okay, there we go. Right, I put the JV700 in, and then that was too many cards on one side. Get that JV107 out of here, and then I return it to the garage. I mean, you're going to see that. Then it's like, oh, we'll bring it back in. Now we need it. Now it's gone. It gets run over by a 4x4 anyway. Not destroyed. Was it the Outlander drives over it? I forget. Look at me. I'm James Bond. Surely you want a James Bond card. Doom, do, 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 do. No, they didn't. Not till later. Ruffy drives right past me. Look at me. See him right there? 
here I am, he's walking past me like, you know, freight train passing a hobo. Let's be clear, I'm the hobo here. That reminds me, I wonder if the hobo base is still open. There used to be, down in, I was down in Avoca, I think. This tiny little place, only open for lunch. It was like a door, like doorway, like in the side of the building. Like there was nothing hard, there was no seating. It was just like this narrow little strip of anything. Called the Hobo Base. And back in the 90s, but we used to get hoagies from there and they were so good. Oh goodness, they were good hoagies. Again, if you, if, you know, if you, if you didn't know the place, there's nothing that would be called, like there, it was, they did not waste any money on marketing here or, or appearance. Or, it was just, you go in, really good hoagies, that's the deal. Everybody knew about it. They went on word of mouth. And the hoagies were just excellent. I mean, it's just incredible. Many decades have gone by now. And there are other places that we can get really good hoagies. In case you're wondering what that beep was from JTV, the magical stone. This magical stone is the perfect Valentine's Day edition to your collection. Yes, it's cranberry color change Xandrite. Well, that's just why I just got beeped onto my phone. It's interrupting our, our, our wonderful talks here. Sandrite mining. Oh, it is a man-made glass. Specially developed by combining rare earth elements such as neodymium, neodymium lithanium, and cerium to create its dramatic something. So it's like, I guess we have to look up what all those things are there mine. There's a lot of really bad mining to go on the world. Like, you know, cobalt is not, that's not pretty. There's a lot of slave labor and children labor and mothers with babies on their backs labor kind of stuff that goes into cobalt. Which is in your phone. And in your electric car. A lot of it in, in, in lithium batteries. So the whole, hey, listen, we're not putting, uh, you know, CO2 into the air kind of gets offset by the, uh, you know, the mining stuff. But that, that's, that's all a kind of a side note here is we're just standing around anyway. I guess this is the kind of thing you talk about standing around a car show waiting for stuff to happen. Mostly everyone was just listening to the stream. Trying to figure out, you know, what Bruffy wanted and how we could make him happy. It really is a little bit weird at times, you know. But, uh, you know, it, it's all done with friends and, and good fun. And he's not... He's not He's not taking that attitude with it at, at all. Like, he, this is just... He appreciates people helping him out. Making things happen. Because, you know... We're all doing it because, hey, we... You know, not only does he seem like a pretty good guy. At least as far as we could tell online. Uh, we can see the vision. This is going to be a great thumbnail because the man has tested every single thing that is in the in the game. And yeah, that's Panker Jones, I think, putting a flashlight on me trying to see if I'm alive. Or somebody was. I think it was Panker. Thankfully, he didn't belt me with the flashlight. Yeah, it's Banker Jones. Wake up! This might have been when I had to move the JV700. Get that out of there. It's not balanced. Fine. I will remove my toy. Remove it. Put it back. Remove it. Now put it back. Put it up front. Put it to the side. No. 
a lot of coordination that goes on here. That wasn't right in the end result either. Again, I'm getting my directions a little bit late because I'm on the other side of the pond. I'm still amazed that the, the computer hasn't crashed yet, of course. Hint, hint. Now I come back to this. Someone has moved it. It tucked it into a 4x4. Four four. I think it had been run over at least partially by this point. I don't remember exactly. I know it gets run over. Probably by someone who just thought Bond was too misogynistic or something. I don't know. That is one of the more beautiful cars in the game, though, really. Seems like it would make a good drift car. Imagine if you could drift the, the Bond car through the new drift races. I have fooled around with those a little bit. Not very much. I sold them all that's so I can get a feel for what they'd be like. I think they'll be nice. Haven't done a... I've been promising, or at least to myself, that I would do a drift racing win on Sunday. And that, that may happen, because I think if you win a drift race, or one of the new drag races, I haven't tried a drag race yet, then you will get some kind of outfit. So I may be fooling around with that, and there'll be a video in the future coming up with that. Although I don't know if that would replace my benefactor. What's it called? The, the purple and teal racing outfit that I had to win all those races to get to get to win an open wheel and a street race and a hot ring. Like it was like okay, it was painful to get that, especially the open wheel race. Did get at least one legit open wheel win. Still blows my mind. I'm saying something there, but I can't read what's on the screen here. See. Oh yeah, it already been damaged, so you play send it back. So. You're getting a better feel for how things ended up. But we're not quite there yet. All these people watching from the tops of the buses. I'm trying to think, how the heck do you get up on the bus? I'm hitting the button. Why you could do it there and not right next to it, I have no idea. Hey, I'm with the cool kids. I'm in with the in crowd. I know what the in crowd knows. And that, that is kind of the appeal of, of getting on a stream, isn't it? Uh, being in with the in crowd. Other people will be watching this on YouTube. As will I. Probably more than once. But here, here we are making it happen. Maybe even if they didn't want my JB700, that's still my Alf, my, uh, my Swift Flying Bravo out the back. And I think that I, I think that that brought a lot to the look. I really do think it did. That was my contribution. Now I get to stand on the bus. You're just a few minutes from another computer crash. Don't worry. They think things are going to happen. Now we're surfing the bus. I don't remember why. Literally have no idea what I'm what even thinking about. I'm probably just listening to the the stream as 
Bruffy's given directions. As we stand around here waiting for the computer to crash again, let's see. Some more dad jokes. Don't trust atoms, they make up everything. What do you call somebody with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. What is the least spoken language in the world? Sign language. No, okay, that's just wrong. It's worse, though. Why was the belt sent to jail for holding up a pair of pants? Are these actually the same ones that are loaded onto the... Uh, the night bot. I don't, I'm honestly not sure. I'm only familiar with 25 letters in the English language. I don't know why. See, it's all delivery. That's that's the key. To, and I can tell dad jokes because I'm a dad. Been a dad for closing on a quarter century. Not quite there yet, but we're getting close. Here's a bus I'm looking at again. Why did you jump down? I don't know. I don't know why I jumped down. I don't remember what my logic was. Perhaps boredom. Yeah, you, that is boredom is one of the most creative things you can have. Though you you, you get your creativity from boredom. Because boredom is one of the things where, like, you don't, you want to have some motion. You want to have something going on. You want to have something productive. And without boredom, the new and interesting kind of things that will come about just don't happen. And we eat this thing down. Down. Get down. Return it as quickly as possible. Well, don't even bother. Might have been in a hurry, so I can make sure that I get the next car in the shot. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. It's coming at you. Yes, I knew exactly what what garage was in. It was in the nightclub, you know, garage. For all the spy cars and the cool cars and the people be hanging out in the nightclub like roughly 1322. Get rid of that so I could get called back up if need be and there she is. The hateful machine. The original hateful machine. Recreated as best I could from what I know of Ruffy's testing videos. I think I think I matched the build on this. Pretty close. Like this. Awkward. That's exactly how you he did You have to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies exactly. in your high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, uh, memories. <laughs> yeah, it, it crashed again. My computer crashed just as I was making the jump to get that car in. There's just a little bit of my participation here. Again, I don't know why. Yeah, absolutely zero. Hour. All it says was, I can bring a dune. I can bring a watermelon. Like, is that that kind of thing here? I think we're a little bit out of, out of tune here. There's some audio. A little bit out of time, because I think this happened. This game real. just crushed. Rip. Oh, here's there, there's my other car. So I put I got this out of order a little bit, but that doesn't matter. So we so got. I, okay, that JB seven hundred has made it five on that side now. That's not gonna work. 
Yeah, that's that's what happened to the JB seven hundred. Don't worry, we'll return to the S six hundred on the side of this. Yeah, it does feel one sided. Wait. Oh. Oh, that's Nicholas's. Okay, that's not moving. <laughs> this gives you the idea of kind Let's of the anxiety. The tube. Wait, we've got three and four on that side. We everything's uneven. <laughs> you know, look at this. We've this is a lot of parking. On each side. Everybody's been doing their best, bro. <laughs> Hang on, let me let me go to the front and just look at all this. And then what happened here was you had me pulling. You'll, you'll see at some point me just get rid of my JB seven hundred. There I go. Saying, Heck with it. I heard a crash. I think that involved the uh, crashing. Why it does into it not the, uh, look cast. uneven? It's because the cars. It's because those SUVs are massive. I think that's why. That Caracara is huge. So it's actually the same. It's actually like the same distance on that second row, even though there's an extra car. So I could have, I could have participated with the JB700, but no, no, it's fine. I don't think I'm worrying about that too much. This looks better now without the JB700, actually. <laughs> now that we've the got problem was me. amount. The problem was me. I said. JB700 can go there. Where's that JB700 gone? <laughs> Since I'm moving this anyway. Back it's it up gone. into there. It's gone, Ace. We don't have it anymore. I moved it. It was damaged by I'm the other car. With the 87 anyway. months, that car looks nice, but the muffler is exhausted. <laughs> uh, nobody move anything else at the moment. Oh, the Caracara just did... It did went as well. Uh, Nicholas, bring your Caracara back and put it where it was, because that actually worked there. Coming back with the Amagio. Oh, okay. The Amagio is coming back for the middle. Never mind on the JB700. Well, that was good, because you weren't getting the JB700 anyway. Uh, yeah, whoever's in the helicopter, can you fill? Can you get out of it? Maybe not do the fireworks in case you get cops. I knew that people have been wanting to do that for so long. This is the aftermath. Now this is the after crash. Well, I tried to get. I was just about to say <laughs> that the the marshal with, survived, but no. With my F six twenty, nothing has survived. I'm not there yet. The F620 survived. You can put this in. There it is. See, I brought your favorite car. Doesn't even hesitate. Beautiful. Doesn't look at it. Doesn't walk around and say, hey, <laughs> this is this is Bruffy Orange and it's got the right wheels and it's got a, a plate that says, you know, hey, the hateful and it's all okay. Nope, we're just, we're just done there. That's all there was to it. And that was the end of my participation, for the most part, in this wonderful event. Oh, yeah, we did, he did create a really cool thumbnail, and that's that's all there is now that's left to it. And I guess this is an appropriate place to say. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. This is just one of those, hey, I was here. These are the home movies. If you find it interesting, I'm happy. But, you know, it's one of those videos I had to put together because it was real. It was fun. I had a good time. It's one of those things that I'm going to be happy to look back on. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.